Well, hello and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk about moonstones. I know this is a hot topic right now, especially now that we have this shop and these things are very expensive. The stuff in here is very expensive. I want to give you a little like some tips and tricks on how to get moonstones for free so you don't have to spend so much money just to get moonstones. The first thing I want to point out when you go into your shop, if you look at the bottom, there's an exclamation point there. It says moonstones can only be used on the same platform where they are purchased. What I think that means is that if you are playing, you know, across different platforms, but you're playing the same game, you're actually saving to the cloud and actually playing it continuously. I think we're going to be okay. I have not tested that out. I think we're fine. You can use your moonstones across platforms that way. If you are not playing on the cloud and you are playing, let's say you're playing on the PlayStation on, you know, one day and then you're playing on the computer the next, but you do not have the cloud save, so they are not updating together, I think that's what that means. If you're playing them separately, you can't get moonstones for both games because obviously you're not playing one game, you're playing two. Even though it's the same game, you're not playing just one, you're playing two. That's what I think that means. I guess we'll have to wait and see what happens. When you look at these prices for the Moonstones, you're looking at $449 for 1200 the small Moonstone pack. You may get one item out of that because everything is very expensive. It really is. If you think about how free-to-play games are played and how they have in-game purchases, this whole setup makes a lot of sense because this year, this game is going to be free-to-play. So they have to make their revenue somewhere, and this is how they're going to do it. For me, I always try to avoid paying real money in these games at all costs. So I'm here to show you today how you can make the most of your Moonstones without actually paying for them. By doing this, you may miss out on some of these weekly shop items, but I believe they did say, I read somewhere, that they did say that they were going to bring some back. So check them often so you can start building up your moonstones and when we did this new centennial star pack we've got moonstones that you can collect right here so once you've collected all your favorite things keep on doing the duties that way you can collect and then at the end once you've once you've unlocked every page you get to this bonus where you can buy more tokens and there are only 10 10 tokens for 90 and that's worth it so every time that you continue doing duties even after you're done collecting everything else I only have two left right now, as you can see. I think I got, after after I got all the rewards, I was down to like five duties left. And I've already completed three of them. I believe it's approximately 100 tokens left over. You figure 100 tokens times 90, 10 times 90. That's a pretty decent amount. You're almost at 1,000 moonstones. So I recommend definitely, even after all your rewards that you've collected, keep doing the duties as long as they're there. As long as they're giving you duties, keep completing them so that you can actually get the extra moonstones at the end. In total, with all of the moonstones that you can get through the actual duties and rewards, you will actually get 1,910 plus the extra 900 at the end that you can collect under that bonus tab. So you're going to have like a total of 2,800 out of this, out of just this event. Now, that's nothing to sneeze at. 2800 what I would totally recommend is that you spend them wisely only buy what you can't live without okay there's a lot of cute little things under that shop tab but you need to spend them wisely and like I said before I believe it was Disney Dreamlight Valley they did say that these things are going to come back around so if you missed one at one point you're going to have another opportunity to get it. Don't worry about that. Just don't be in a hurry to get whatever it is you want. Build those moonstones up. I'm going to show you another way to do that. Now it's time to find our blue chests. Each blue chest will give you 50 moonstones. Thank you, Disney Dreamlight Valley team, for doing that for us. I kind of wish it were more because when you finally do the math, <laughs> I'm actually getting two to three of those blue chests a day. And at 50 moonstones per chest, you're getting between 100 and 150 moonstones every day. Seems like a lot, but when you actually do the math, it really isn't. So if you would, let's just say, at minimum, you're getting 100 every day. You're only getting two chests. You're talking 700 moonstones a week. That's it. And at most, if, it's a, if you're getting three chests and you're getting 150 every day, you're talking 1050 a week, which isn't actually enough 
to buy anything. The other thing you want to do is claim from the update on the premium shop. Since we're talking about that premium shop, make sure you claim this. Do not forget. Don't worry if it says, you know, you have to connect from the main menu or claim anyway. As long as you're actually cloud saving, you don't need to follow these. You can just say claim anyway. That's just a quick little tip because I thought we'd bring that up since we are talking about the premium shop and how expensive things are. You want to get your free stuff, okay? Get your free stuff. And once you've found all of your blue chests for the day, hoard them. Just hoard the points. Save them up. Don't spend them until unless you absolutely, absolutely have to. But they'll build up rather quickly. So make sure you do that. That's just my, my big tip of the day. Make sure you hoard your moonstones and then buy that special item when it pops back again. Don't be in a hurry. Don't be in a rush. It will probably come back again. All right, guys, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to click on the next one. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.